What's up? It's Bob from Home Cook Basics. So today I'm going to show you how to cut a cantaloupe. So with a cantaloupe, I'm going to give you a little tip when you're buying one at the store. You want to see this round part here. You're looking to see, make sure it's a little bit firm, but if it moves a little, that can be a good sign, but just a little bit. And then you want to smell it right there. If it smells citrusy or like really a, a sweet fruit smell, you're all set. If it's really sweet, but it's real mushy around, then it's probably gone by. If the thing's harder as a rock, then it's probably not ripe enough. So you're gonna wanna wash your cantaloupe. That's the first thing you're gonna do. I run it under a cool water, sometimes lukewarm. If you have a vegetable spray, you can use that also. I use a Dr. Bronner's soap that's lightly diluted. We use this stuff for everything. It's pretty good stuff, you should check it out, but it's Dr. Bronner's. I mean, these things grow on the ground, but the thing is, is you're gonna be cutting through the skin. And when you cut through the skin, your knife is gonna drag any of that bacteria on the outside into the fruit. All right, now, so the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut an end off. So you're just gonna slice right through. I like to do both sides. So this is going to give us a nice platform to work on. It's nice and sturdy and it's not going to roll around on us. We're going to cut it into two halves here. You're just going to cut right down the middle and give yourself two halves. Now go ahead and grab yourself a large spoon and you're just going to scoop out all these seeds. So I saved those seeds so I can plant my own cantaloupe. No, just kidding. They really don't grow too well in the Northeast. I mean, some people get away with it. I remember my mom used to try, but uh, they were really small. If you grow cantaloupe in the Northeast, let me know how it goes. So that's again, go ahead, scoop it out, get both of them. So now that we got the seed scooped out, we're gonna go ahead and cut it. So go ahead and flip it on that nice even surface. And then you're just gonna make slices to the size that you want. Now if you're feeding it to maybe kids and you just want some slices where they can go ahead and eat them, then there you go, you got a perfect slice. So just keep slicing through. Keep those fingers out of the way. A more manageable piece would probably be in half like that. And you got these perfect slices that you can go ahead and eat. Now, if we're going to cut it into chunks, go ahead, take that piece, put it on its side. Cut your slices just like we did earlier. Take those slices. And you're going to, I like to cut it like halfway. And then you're just going to work your knife down around that slice. Watch out for your fingers. The riper your fruit is, the easier it is to cut along there. Another way you can do it is just cut into a bunch of wedges that you already have the size that you want in your fruit salad. These chunks, just cut it like that. And it actually kind of lays it out a little bit flat. And then you're just cutting them all off. And then your perfect little chunks already nice and cut. Just once again, make sure you go slow and methodical, especially that you're using a sharp knife. So that's it, how to cut up a cantaloupe. I hope you see how quick and easy it is. You can cut yourself some slices, some chunks for your fruit salad. Once again, make sure you got a sharp knife, wash your fruit, and Really concentrate on cutting nice and slow. Keep your fingers out of the way and you'll be all set. The riper the fruit, the easier it is to cut. And I want to thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe down below. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time on Home Cook Basics.